Hello, welcome back to Sweet Nothing's Crochet's videos. Today we're going to make this really lovely pattern which I have called my crisscross pattern and I have made it into a clutch purse. For my crisscross clutch, I used the polyester silk yarn. For this swatch, I have used a, a DK weight yarn. And to show you how we're going to get this done, I'm going to be using uh, some 4 ply, ply acrylic with a 3.5 mm, mm crochet hook. Okay. This pattern is completely reversible. The back and the front is exactly the same. And you can actually use this for several patterns. You can use it, make it into a coaster, you can make it into a scrubby. But let's see how we get this pattern done to start. As, as always, you know, I like to start with my foundation single crochet. So I've started with a row of foundation single crochet. And for this pattern, we need stitches in the multiples of 5 plus 1. So for our swatch, I've started with 21 stitches. 5 fours are 20 plus 1. So once you've got your foundation single crochet row done, we start on row 1, which is chain 3. You work three double crochet from your first stitch. Skip the next four stitches and you work a single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three and three double crochet from that same stitch. Skip the next four stitches and work a single crochet in the next stitch. Once again, chain three, three double crochet from the same stitch. Skip the next four stitches and a single crochet in the next stitch. This is what you do all the way down the length of your first strip first strip that you have done the first single crochet foundation single crochet is going to be the length that you want for your uh, purse for your clutch purse so you work it all the way till the last st few stitches last five stitches you skip the last four stitches and you work a single crochet there now as I'm working in a with the foundation row I like to f neaten it up as I go along and I like to take that tail away so I go into my last stitch come out through this small loop at the end here and when I work my stitch my yarn goes neatly at the back it's tucked away so when I work my next set of stitches the yarn is there very neatly it comes down to use okay row 2 chain 4 and work 2 double crochet from that first stitch sorry I forgot to take to weave that yarn in. Chain four and two double crochet from that first stitch. Skip the next three double crochet and work a single crochet in the chain three space. Chain three, two double, three double crochet from the same chain three space. This is our pattern all the way through. Skip the 3DC, single crochet in the chain 3 space, then chain 3, and 3 double crochet in the same chain 3 space. We work this all the way till the end. Chain 3, and 3 double crochet. Till you come to the last chain three space and the last three double crochet skip the last three double crochet single crochet in the last chain three space chain three one double crochet and one triple crochet for a triple crochet wrap the yarn twice around your hook into the space pull up a loop yarn over pass it through the first two loops 
then through the next two loops on hook and finally through the last two loops on hook. This basically is our pattern for row 1 and row 2, row 3. Start with chain 3 and you work 3 double crochet in the first chain 3 space. Skip the next 3, double crochet, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, you know this pattern by heart now, it's chain 3, 3 double crochet, skip the next 3, single crochet in the chain 3 space, followed by chain 3 and 3 double crochet. You do this all the way till the end. Hmm. It's not at up, hasn't it? two and three and a single crochet in that last chain three space. You will repeat rows two and three till you get the size that you require for your project. Let's do one more set together. Repeat of row two where you start with chain four. You work two double crochet in that first stitch. Skip the next three double crochet, single crochet in the chain three space, chain three, three double crochet in the same chain three space. Skip the next three double crochet and a single crochet in the chain three space, followed by chain three and three double crochet. We're working this pattern all the way to the end. Chain three, three double crochet. And in that last chain three space, you work a single crochet, chain three, one double crochet and one triple crochet. Row three will be chain three, three double crochet in the first chain three space, skip the next three double crochet, single crochet in the chain three space followed by the stitch that you know very well now. It's chain three with three double crochet. And this is what you work all the way to the end. Three double crochet. This pattern actually would make a beautiful belt as well. So if you start off you can attach a belt buckle on one side, multiples of 5 plus 1 and work a beautiful belt as well. And because it does, it's not too holy and it actually has a squarish shape of sorts, it's, not, it's going to open a little bit but it will stretch really well along the length as well. So it will actually be really beautiful. Right, so now assuming that you are working uh, for, a, for a purse. There are two ways that you can finish it off. You've had a beautiful end, uh, a row like this at the bit beginning but what we are actually working on is you're going to be working with a length that is this way for your purse, right? So you're going to make a rectangle and this will be one end of the purse 
which is where you'll attach your clasp and then you attach it all the way down there and then you need to have a finished end at the other end because as you see this end is finished this end is finished but this end is not you can't have an unfinished end if this is your wallet you can't have one end this way and one end this way you can if you decide to have your wallet that folds over so if you want to have a wallet that goes this way then it doesn't really matter what ends you have but if you're going to have an, a wallet that just folds over in half you need to finish off that end so you need when you when you finish off that end Here's how I have finished off the end. I've done a chain one and I basically just worked one single crochet in all your double crochet stitches and just one single crochet in your chain three space. So when you work just in all the double crochet and just one single crochet in your in that last line, you'll end up with a line with a row that is flat and neat and will keep your work the other thing that you must remember is you have to end with the same number of stitches that you started so as you started with I started with 21 so that's 4 8 12 16 17 18 19 20 20 or 21 and you'll have a row that's almost the same. So when it folds over, it'll match. Get that? Isn't that beautiful? I do hope that when you make your projects, you link it back to me and uh, you let me know how you like this video. Do subscribe to my videos so you don't miss a single post. Bye and have a creative day.